<laughs> okay, guys, doing? I'm putting the motor in reverse because you're about to run aground. Oh, and you didn't want to. Now, how's that for a beginning? Thank Paul you. Running, and now he's running aground again. This is an intro. Paul has started his channel. It's I did. Paul. No, no, it's, no it's not. It. It's Horsley Retirement Adventures. There you go. So go on there and subscribe. Yes. To his channel. Watch. Uh -huh. He's got two videos already. He's got one about the best caramel corn, and I'm gonna have to tell you that it, that needs to be taken off the internet. That is the like when he makes that, it's it just dead. It is. It should be illegal. We, uh, it's, I think one of my comments that I said is like, I, although I don't know, it's this, like crack. It's like crack. It a, <laughs> you can't stop yeah. eating it. And James has made a monster. James, uh, at Buccaneer Bait and Tackle, because he sold Paul this shut up and fish hat. So now Paul's already pointed to his hat once. I did this. And then I'm supposed to shut up. Yeah. So uh, if you hear me suddenly shut up today, it's because I want this. That's, yeah. Paul's got one on. Finally, we got one fish on. Broke the rules. I'm, I'm supposed to let Chris catch them. Well, at this point, that's okay. We need to throw the rules out the window. Can y'all see those two floats? See how close Paul threw to my float? Yeah, I want to be right next to Chris. I mean, you know, one guy catches one fish one time. That would be me. And then everybody rushes over right there. That would be Chris. Got another one. Not a float. Oh, rig. My. I'm spending all my time doing this. It's like my, every cast. I put my stuff on the bottom. Yeah, that helps. Bother. Helps. Now, it's not customary, but I caught two, so it's Chris's turn to catch some fish. Well, at the rate I'm going. Yeah. Here we go. Got him that time. No throw, start recording. Got one. He's jumping like a bass. Like a bass. bass. Okay. Bring all in. Yeah, it helps when you get your line straightened out. Yeah. Ooh, that's healthy. That might be 14 and a half. Nah, he's... Take it easy. Bigger. I mean, the closer you get him to the camera, you know, the bigger they get. They get bigger. It's called perspective. I think you need to get one. Pretty sure I don't have any truck left. Perspective. You know what it is, Paul? This perspective. It's all perspective. It's all about perseverance. Perseverance, perspective, and all that stuff. And pertinence. Pertinence. That's what it's all. Hey, I'm just glad you got your nice fish. Perseverance. Perspective. And, uh, yeah, you're doing well now. Pertinence. Now you can and uh, pork sandwiches. Hey, birds are yelling. Paul just pointed to his hat. Shut up. Shut up and fish. Okay, before the water was flowing all over this thing. So there's like water flowing everywhere. Now the water's narrowed down where it's just flowing right through there. And we've started catching some fish. So, maybe this will help the fish concentrate. By concentrate, I don't mean pay more attention. I mean, do. more fish get right there. Thinking, more fish there, more fish. They're just thinking more. Don't. Ow. They need to concentrate less and concentrate more. One jig. Right. Caught him on a crappie jig. Of I'm retying for about the fourth time, and I don't understand what I have done, but I've done something. Got another one with my crappie jig. That's two. Now they're not big, but they're fun to catch on a jig. Huh? Ain't that nice? What kind of that, that one that you used to catch crappie on that it was out there in the calm water, Chris. I'm going to have to switch to the jig. Okay. He ain't catching big ones, but he's catching them. I'm not catching big 
which is more so I'm not catching big ones or catching them Paul just got another little guy and I have on a jig now so let's see if I can make it happen as well he's turning his camera on he's turning it around look at him he's a youtuber he doesn't I think you changed it to uh, okay, no. photograph or something. No, it's on. Ah, no, it's not a nice fish. It's just a regular fish. That time I got him. That time I got him. Yeah, you did. A little guy. All for us. Man, no, you are not the sheep head I want. That was my cow noise. You know how cows do when they miss sheep's head. You old heifer! Ain't nothing but an old heifer, Paul. Got him on my jig again, Mr. Chris. I did that and really slow, really. That's where I caught that trout. Yep. What happened? Right there. I can confirm that. Fish has got me. Fish has got me. Yeah. A little guy has got me. I know it's crazy, ain't it? Where's the big guys? Hmm. I think. I was just thinking. You know how they were the other day and they had you just had to have a live shrimp on there yeah. and these shrimp are not living very long so i'm thinking i need to probably be changing my shrimp out more often yeah i think we got plenty yeah because it's moving Apparently, the live, active shrimp is what we're going to have to pay attention to. Go. Be free. Well, we've moved locations. For some reason, the uh, current totally, completely died. I think it might be called low tide uh, in our creek. So now we're out here and we are catching even smaller trout. We're out more where there's more of a current. That's all right though. That's the start, Paul. This is just a beginning. Only the beginning, only just the start. So, let's see. Oh, here it goes again. This one feels a little better, Paul. A little better. Paul said good. A lot better. I got a boat. I do have a boat. 15. 
Where's the Z? Yeah. That's a 15. Is it 15? Yeah, if it starts right there. Action. We've gotten very superstitious with our, and we shouldn't be. But we've gotten worried that when the other guy's catching fish, now all of a sudden, that if we throw over there, we kill, our, our term is kill the bite. But you know what? It seems like that's what's been happening. But see, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. We need to get that out of our heads. Do what you want to do, Paul. You're a grown captain. You don't need anybody's permission. Yeah. To move, tooting, I don't. To move your boat in any direction in any speed whatever you do what you feel like you need to do you do that voodoo that you do there it went yeah well uh I've caught one. All right, I do a bite. Not a keeper. Not a keeper. To watch 60 minutes. Oh, watch 60 minutes. What? Another? Another. This is on fire. Go pro, start recording. He's on him. This is the way it always goes. It is. You have Paul's time. And then it's Chris. And Chris's time. PT, when is CT. It, when is it going to be our time? Our, oh, that's nice. Together. I think we've had an our time before. We've had our time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've had our times, we've had Paul's time, oh my goodness. Chris's time. Paul about had his pole. Man. I heard this noise and I thought Paul was laying on the ground. You know how, how Curly used to lay on the ground and run around in circles on the Three Stooges? I thought it sounded like that's what Paul was doing. It's just like... And he was making a whoop, 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 Oh, good times. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on with the with the guy. Oh, here we go. This is kind of trout like, Paul. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. Apparently I'm right at the right depth because it didn't pull it under, it just kind of swam sideways with it. This one doesn't have many specks. Good one. Good one. That might measure. Did it. He caught itself. a better one. That's nice. Nice, uh... So we, want, we want them at least that size. Yeah. Nice sheep bed. We want these to be the smallest ones. Got him? Yeah. All right, Paul. You might not want to mess around with him too much. You made me push your button? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a little better. That's a little better. That's a keeper. Look at that. That's how you lift a fish up upside down, lasso. The guy 
And still, you want to eat like America's Got Talent or something. One of those Doing, doing flips. Talent. 